I'm gonna tell you how to transform from trying to thriving and give you three important steps to help you succeed in all areas of your life. So let's do it. Do you feel like you're always just surviving life, just getting through each day and trying so hard to please everyone and live up to their expectations? but it's hard to find to actually achieve any of your own life goals. I often get asked, why is my life so hard? Why can't I get anywhere no matter how hard I try? If you can relate to this, you've come to the right place because I'm gonna explain what the difference is between trying and thriving and I'm gonna show you how to achieve it. The reason I started thinking about this is because I was chatting to a close friend of mine and I noticed she was really happy with her life being kind of mediocre. And don't get me wrong, I love the gratitude in that, but it was reeking of non-truth. She said that she was happy in her job, waitressing on a minimum wage, full time, with no time to herself. She said she was happy in a relationship that wasn't going anywhere. She desperately wanted kids and he definitely didn't. She was happy not to strive for even health. She was content in just putting up with pain every day. I couldn't understand it. Then it came to me. She doesn't believe that she deserves more out of life. And that's when I realized we're so conditioned to live small, to accept pain, stress, and anxiety as our norm. And the worst thing we've come to accept is that it's okay not to be even interested in ourselves, not to notice what makes us special or to be on the path to exploring what makes us so incredibly unique. That's the difference between those who try and those who thrive. Pop in the comments below what struggles you're absolutely sick of, that you wanna turn around and create a life of positivity and purpose instead. And make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video because I'll be sharing my top tip for today. I'm Sonia Recknitzer and welcome to the Intuition Wisdom channel. Every day we're liberating people from the rat race, helping them to become self-mastered, live their life purpose, and make a real difference to themselves and the planet. So today I'm gonna to share with you the differences between thriving and thriving, and give you the three things that you need to do to make that change. Those three things are, number one, start believing in yourself. Number two, put yourself first. And number three, live your life purpose. So let's get to the secret to becoming a thriver in all areas of your life. Nothing in your life is gonna change until you start believing in yourself. When I was watching the last Olympics, I was watching the swimming and the Australians are historically fantastic swimmings, swimmers. <laughs> so I was watching with great anticipation for some wins. And I noticed the difference between how different countries represented themselves as they were called out to the starting platform. So imagine this, and here, representing Australia, Sonia Recknitzer. And the Sonia would walk out shyly waving, almost sorry that she was there, like she was an imposter. And now compare it to this. And from the USA, Sonia Recknitzer. And Sonia comes out, yeah, yeah, waving confidently like she'd already won. The American athletes were walking out as if they'd already won. They had allowed in as their reality, seen it, visualized it. They were feeling it in every cell of their body, going from wishing they could win to allowing in that they're worthy of winning. Talk about giving yourself permission to thrive. Where the Australian athletes behaved more like, they didn't want to step on anyone's toes, wanting to make sure everyone has a fair go, you know, that is the Australian motto wanting to make sure that they don't stand out so people can cut them down. That tall poppy syndrome. It hit me so strongly that the vast majority of the population is doing that very same thing. I could see in an instant that barely anyone's giving themselves permission to thrive. They really just need to say to themselves, hey, I wonder what life would be like if I actually saw what could be possible for me. What could I contribute? How could I live? What if I live the life that I love instead of what I've been settling for? You need to train yourself in this just like they train the American athletes. So what I encourage you to do is to look at your belief systems, how your family lives. Does your family give themselves permission to thrive? Does your country or society give you permission to thrive? 
or are you stuck in a family or country or society that's keeping you small? If you're stuck keeping yourself small like 98% of the population, it is time for a breakthrough. Which brings me to the next step number two, which is putting yourself first. Now this is a hard one because we're so conditioned to put ourselves last, like after everyone else. But learning to put yourself first is absolutely crucial if you wanna succeed in life. You must learn to stop allowing everyone else's needs to come before yours. You can't be effective at living your true life if you're not being true to you. You can't be a great parent or partner or friend if you haven't looked after yourself first. You absolutely must look after your needs first if you wanna make a difference on this planet. This means doing what you love, not doubting and questioning your worth in the world. It means trusting your intuition rather than other people's opinions. And it means no longer comparing yourself to others and investing your time in the most fulfilling path for you. We often think that putting ourselves first is being selfish, but we're not, or that we're not good people if we say no to things. We feel guilty about letting other people down. We're brought up to think that our value as a person is based on what other people think of us. But the truth is that when you focus all your attention on others instead of yourself, your life is severely limited and that's when depression and exhaustion happen. You've got just nothing left in the tank for yourself. When you give yourself permission to put yourself first, everything changes. You're more relaxed, you're productive, more authentic, and your life begins to flow with ease. You're on path from surviving to thriving. But there's one very important thing that you need to do, and that's number three, live your life purpose. Whether we realize it or not, we all have our own unique gift, a special reason that we're here on this earth for. It's called our life purpose. When you start to connect to your intuition, you're able to tune in to your true self, and that is where the answers to what you really want and should be doing with your life comes into clarity. Discovering my life purpose was among all the stunning things that I discovered on this journey, the most profound thing. It was a total game changer in my life. One minute I was struggling against the flow and then suddenly I had the support of the whole universe behind me, supporting me to move forward. That's exactly what being on purpose is all about. Life becomes effortless because you're in that universal flow. When you discover your life purpose, everything falls into place. You take charge of your life. You wake up with passion and excitement every day, knowing that you're sharing your gifts with the world. You become content, fulfilled and peaceful. It's the one sure fire way to thrive in life. Okay, so here's my top tip. Begin practicing acts of extraordinary trust in yourself. This is your game changer. But what does that look like? Start with this. If you have a gut feeling about something, no matter how subtle it is, trust it. If you have an idea that you want to follow, even if everyone says you're crazy, pursue it. If you're doing something that you love, but you want to quit because you've kind of lost your self-belief, just take a break and then keep going because success is always just one step beyond that point of quitting. Remembering you're so much more amazing than you give yourself credit for. Please remember that. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you get more videos like this one. I wanna keep helping you out. Check out the Master Your Life Purpose playlist and join the Manifest Your Dream Life movement. The link to that million dollar idea masterclass that I'm running is in the description below. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching.